It is December 1st of 2024 and I tested out HexOS early release and I decided it's not for me, but it might be for you and let me explain why. You'll find an entire playlist of TrueNAS videos showing you how to set things up on TrueNAS such as ZFS, the shares, applications, and of course everyone's favorite, the permissions. The reality is you're either going to pay with your time to learn how things work in TrueNAS, or you can buy something like HexOS and have it do all the integration and setup for you. Full disclosure up front, I did not invest a quarter million dollars into this project like Linus did or any money at all. But I have had some good conversations with John from HexOS and he did provide me a free license to do this testing. All opinions are my own. No one else but me has editorial input into this video, so let's get started. Are you an individual or forward-thinking business seeking expert assistance with network engineering, storage, or virtualization projects? Maybe you're part of an internal IT team that needs to proactively manage, monitor, and secure your technology. We offer comprehensive consulting services tailored to meet your specific requirements. Whether you need fully managed or co-managed IT services, our team is ready to help you. We specialize in supporting businesses that require IT administration or teams seeking an extra layer of support to enhance their operations. Our install team is ready to assist you with all of your structure cabling and Wi-Fi planning needs as well. To learn more about any of our services, head over to lawrencesystems.com, fill out the Hire Us form, and let us start crafting the perfect IT solution for you. If you want to show some extra love for our channel, check out our swag store with shirts, hats, dust accessories, and more. We also have affiliate links down below that will get you discounts and deals on products and services we talk about on this channel. With the ad read out of the way, let's get you back to the content that you came here for. The install process is really simple. Grab the ISO, boot it to a USB, choose install, choose the drive you'd like to put the system on, click yes to the warning that you're going to erase all the data on that particular drive, set your password, which you'll need again momentarily, and then it completes the install. Once it installs, you're going to get the same prompt as you do with a normal TrueNAS system that gives you the IP address and the ability to log in to the command line from here. Or you can log in right to that IP address. More on that in a moment. Now, the next step is to go to the HexOS dashboard, not at that IP address, but via their website. And then provided your computer is able to discover this server that is also on the same network as you, you'll find it and you can click claim. Once you claim the server, the next thing you need to do is put the password in that you set. Then the system's going to do a quick health and capabilities check to make sure you have a system capable of running this. Then it's going to configure your storage pool automatically in a RAID Z1 configuration. It doesn't really give you any other options. It just picks the optimal configuration for you. Then you name your server, confirm that all the data will be deleted on those drives, and then it finishes the creation process and eventually landing you on the dashboard of your newly set up HexOS system. Now that we're in the dashboard, let's go ahead and add a user. And I think Tom is a good user to add. So let's uh, add a Tom. Great, Tom has been added. And let's go ahead and add a new folder. And let's call this one Tom Data. Well, that's interesting. We can put a space, but if we put an underscore in a space, it says no, it won't let that. I don't recommend folders with spaces, so we'll go ahead and do an underscore there. Location, the SSDs. Uh, public or private? Hmm. I like that we have an easy option, but we have an option here to choose if we want to have Tom have full access or view only. Nice. If we want private for simplicity, we'll leave it at this, I guess. Add folder and now our folder is created. Now let's go over here and look at the storage. We have our SSD. We still have a SAN disk and I forgot to unplug and left plugged into this. So nice that it displays that. Uh, we can create a new pool but I don't think I have enough extra drives to actually make that work. You need more than one unused drive available. Great, it does give me a nice warning there. Now let's take a look at the apps. I don't know if the entire TrueNAS app ecosystem is in here, but this looks like quite a few apps. This is nice. I think this is absolutely a great start. I wanna go ahead and try something I really enjoy, such as Fresh RSS. This app is currently not supported by XOS. Dang it. As of December 1st, there's probably not a lot of apps in here. My guess is the ones that are on the recommended list, such as Plex, are supported and Image. Let's see how quick we can get Image set up. So click Install and run from here. All right, we have Image installed. Let's go ahead and click on the app and we'll launch this. Welcome to Image, get started. Let's set up an email and get this going. All right, and there we go. We have image set up and running and I've uploaded a few photos. 
I'm impressed. This was really easy to get this app running. This is far easier than the steps it would have taken to set the permissions, point it at the proper folder and get things set up. Now let's take a look at the settings though. What if we click on settings after we set it up? Well, that's what's interesting. It takes you over to the TrueNAS UI to your standard UI setup for any applications in TrueNAS. Matter of fact, while we're here, you can see there's image all set up. And if we go over to storage, we can see the drives that it's set up. We can also go here to the data sets, although they're called folders in there. And there's the applications, there's image, there's photos, there's the Tom data, there's shares for each of these both configured automatically for us. Now, if we go back over here to the dashboard, we can get back to other settings, such as if we wanted to configure the networking as the details, this particular network is inactive. Network two is where I believe I have everything hooked up. There we go. There's the IP address. We can edit this, change it, currently set to DHCP. So if we wanted to set it to manual, we have that option as well. Go ahead and cancel that. So I don't want to do that. We have the ability to create a bridge and edit the global configuration, such as our DNS and server name. Now I want to point out when you're looking at these storage pools, you have the ability to view the drives and see features of each drive. You have the ability to replace it. So they've made it easy to upgrade these drives. Let's go ahead and simulate a failure by removing one of the drives. And we do get a warning. Your server is not running normally. It's going to do a health check here. One or more of your storage pools is being reported as unhealthy. So we can click on storage, click on the pool, and we can see that one of the drives must be missing. View drives. And there we go. There's the missing drive. Now, I didn't spend a ton of time with XOS because ideally it's going to be something so easy you won't need a bunch of tutorials. Second, it's also going to be something that is out of beta eventually. And beta is not the best time to do a bunch of demos on things because stuff changes. And it definitely has a beta feel with only two apps in there. Let's jump down though to a future that is coming soon in 2025. And that starts with the thing I didn't mention at all, which is backups. Snapshots and replications are absolutely an amazing feature of ZFS and well integrated into TrueNAS. They've done plenty of videos and tutorials on that of how to get these set up. One of the tricky things though, is sometimes when you're doing offsite backups, making sure you have that all set up properly. I imagine you're gonna make this really simple. And in addition to that, they're gonna introduce the buddy backup system. It's not a new concept, but I've never seen it pulled off very well. Ideally, if you have a NAS and you have a buddy that has a NAS and you'd like to back up to each other's NAS, well, you should be able to do that with just a few clicks. Well, at least that's the concept they're working on at HexOS. And the data would be encrypted at both ends, so you wouldn't be able to see each other's data, but this is a way you could have several friends and have, hopefully using something simple like an overlay network, be able to share backup space and have offsite backups without recurring cloud fees, just recurring friend fees. And you can work that out, maybe, you know, trade in whatever way you see fit. Another thing worth mentioning is a local UI UX. No, they don't have that right now. The only local UI is TrueNAS. They are eventually working on this. So as of right now, yes, it does require their cloud essentially where once you register this device, it reaches out to their cloud and you log into that dashboard they have and that's where you're controlling it as I was in the video, but they will eventually have a local UI. Now here in December of 2024, this is still very beta. I said it earlier, I want to remind you again, but there's one little bug I did find that I kind of hope they leave in because it makes me laugh. It says achievement failed on each thing that I did get done. I don't know why it says that because I watched Techno Tim's video and you'll find that link down below. His didn't seem to say that. So I was the lucky one with achievement failed when I was recording, I guess. But Nonetheless, beta is always fun. I will make sure I report any bugs back to the team over at HexOS as I poke around and test with it. I don't know that I'll be doing many future videos on it because ideally I shouldn't have to. It's going to be so easy to use. And really, I want to know what you think of HexOS. Is this something where you're absolutely the audience for this and leave those thoughts and comments down below if you think turnkey is the way and you want something that just works and you're willing to pay for it or do you prefer to watch my playlist of true nas videos or read the documentation and figure out how it all works and get the permissions set up because that's definitely where my head is at and maybe yours is too i don't know let me know though like and subscribe to see more content from the channel head over to my forums forums.lawrencesystems.com they have more in-depth discussion about this and other topics and hit me up over at lawrencesystems.com where you can connect with me on whatever socials you find me on there all right, and thanks.